At the beginning of the movie, we see a couple who brings a young lady to a sorcerer named Antonio. He puts her in front of him, and then all the people present there leave. After they leave, Antonio takes out his mask, and while he was checking that girl, she suddenly opens her eyes. She grabs his wrist very forcefully, which frightens him, and he sees that the girl is completely possessed by a demon. The girl then stands in front of him, and before he could understand anything, she jumps on him to attack him, but Antonio manages to run to a hut to save himself. She then leaves there, but suddenly comes in front of him and tries to attack him. Antonio puts a cloth over her and splashes some liquid on her, causing her to burn, and she condemns him and his offspring. Now after a while when her mother comes to the hut, she sees that Antonio has managed to overcome the evil, but he says that soon he would have to fight a powerful beast that would take from him what's most precious in his life. Antonio is old now and in a mental asylum, and he was telling this story to a woman named Olga. We then see that Antonio is part of the theater and is the author of the play. Olga comes to him and asks him to join them in acting, but he says he doesn't like acting. Only then do Roberto and Pedro come to him and tells him that the director Fabian is not respecting his stories, to which he says they are not stories but life experiences. Now the director announces a 10-minute break, and when everyone leaves the stage, Antonio tells Olga, Pedro, and Roberto the most important story of his life. It's about her daughter, Alina, who was born on November 6, 1980, under a mysterious red moon. He met his wife Amanda in Puto Iguazu, who belonged to the Mbaya community. When Amanda gives birth to Alina, we see a demon crawling in the woods. Now that night, Antonio notices her in a trance asking Coria, doesn't he want to take their baby? He and her mother then notice someone prowling their house, and she says they must protect her faith. The next day, Antonio goes to the forest with his child, where he and his mother perform some rituals and make a unique necklace for Alina. She tells him that she must carry it all her life, and her faith will grow with it. Now that evening when he returns home, he sees that Amanda is walking in a trance, and after going behind a tree, she transforms into a demon. Antonio immediately runs inside the house and gets heartbroken to find Amanda dead. The scene now shifts to the present, where an orderly tells him that his lawyer Warren has come to meet him. Warren asks him not to give up as they are expecting very good news for next week. Antonio asks him about his daughter, to which he tells him she is fine and growing professionally. Warren then asks him to stay out of trouble, so their claim is solid. Only then Antonio notices the news on TV that a mysterious red moon took over the sky in most of the world this Friday. We then see Alina and Warren together, and here we learn that they are in a relationship. Now at night when Alina is sleeping, a demon comes to her and wakes her up, and she sees a dark figure standing in the darkness, but when she turns on the lights, she finds no one there. The next day, a woman named Clara visits Antonio and tells him that she came on behalf of Isarina. She gives him a smoking pipe, and when he smokes it, she tells him that she saw him and Alina in dream. He sees his mother's face in her, who tells him that Alina is in danger, and Kurea wants to sacrifice her on the Red Moon's night. He is trying to be reborn with the power of their lineage, so he will have to kill Kurea. He asks her how, to which she says just like him, he will have to heal his daughter and Alina must recover her faith. Now that night, he goes to Olga and asks her for a needle and thread. Only then do Roberto and Pedro come there and tells him that they can lend him, but they want to know how the story continues. Olga also asks him what happened with Alina. He then tells them that Amanda's death broke his heart and Correa took advantage of his weaknesses. One day when he was cooking, Alina hears some sound from the forest and she walks towards it. When Antonio comes to that side looking for her, he sees a jaguar in front of her, and he tells them that Alina had inherited a great power, a strong connection with nature. Now that night a sound wakes up Alina and she sees someone outside the house. She comes out to check where she sees her mother in the woods who calls her to her. Alina looks at Antonio and that's when Curia drags her away. After some time, when Antonio wakes up, he comes out quickly and sees that Alina is lying unconscious and Curia runs away with her necklace. He tells them that Curia couldn't take Alina's life, but without her necklace, she would lose her faith day by day. She stopped feeling at home in the jungle. Over time, he adjusted his life to hers, and they moved into the city. One day Alina complains that in school she is called Legion's kid, and his life is ruining hers. He says she has to be proud of what they are, to which she says she wants her life to be normal. She angrily gets up and opens a door and asks him if it's normal. He warns her not to get closer as he can bite, to which she says she doesn't want to live like this anymore. Meanwhile, the possessed man frees himself, but before he could bite Alina, Antonio saves her and accidentally kills that man. Antonio then tells them that they have to help him escape tonight. Olga goes to the guard to distract him, and meanwhile, Antonio prepares to perform a ritual. He takes out a voodoo doll from his bag, and Olga also reaches there with that guard's hair. Antonio uses his hair to perform the ritual, and he pricks his finger to drip his blood on that doll. Now after some time that doll starts burning and transforms into a strange doll, and seeing this Robert and Petter run away from there. 
Antonia then uses that doll to bend the guard's body and the other guard gets terrified seeing this. He then burns that doll causing both the guards to run out of the asylum, and we see Clara waiting for Antonio in her car. She takes Antonio to a hotel and tells him she found out where his daughter works. The plan is that he meet with her personally and for that, he will have to make an appointment. He says he needs sacred tools to work on Alina, to which she says he will need to look like the father she wants in order for her to listen to him. She also gives him a phone to stay in touch. He asks her how he can convince her if she fears him, to which she says trusting in her inner wisdom and his words can heal her. Later, he goes to Alina's office to meet her, but she refuses to meet him. She then calls the asylum and informs Doria that her father is here at her office. Antonio then returns home and starts preparing to fight with Coria. Now the next day we see glass from Alina's company drowning in the solution prepared by Antonio, causing smoke to come out from Alina's colleagues glasses and entering into their noses. We then see Alina meditating by wearing headphones and closing her eyes and all the people in her office leaving. Suddenly the voice in her phone starts distorting and she sees her computer malfunctioning. She then notices that her entire office is empty and gets shocked to see Antonio there. He asks her to calm down and listen to him carefully. She tries to call the asylum to which he says she won't be able to reach anyone as long as he is here. He tells her that Coria is after her and he wants her to wake up. She is leaving in someone else's dream and there is nothing here from her world. She says he never accepted her decisions and asks him to go away. He tries to explain to her that Coria drove her crazy but her blood and roots are sacred. He puts a jar there and tells her it's for her protection. The beast has a sharp smell and he won't find her with this. Suddenly the phone rings and she sees that everyone in the office is at their place and his dad has disappeared from there. Now when Antonio returns home, Clara asks him what about the original plan. To which he tells her that the original plan didn't work, so they need to face Kurea's power with more powerful weapons. First, they need to light up Alina's eyes, and if she recovers her faith, Kurea's power will decrease, then they can kill him. She tells him about Hariri Sarina, an expert in healing beverages, and then gives him a bottle filled with Igua that acts as a defense. And then protector Alayang, telling him it's very powerful. Antonio then begins the ritual and uses Alina's photo to gain powers to connect with her and keep an eye on her. And he gets shocked to see that Warren is actually the Korea demon who was keeping Alina away from Antonio, and suddenly he attacks him and knocks him down. That demon then comes to the hotel and takes Alina's photo, after which he comes out of the darkness in the form of Warren and tells him that her daughter belongs to him. Antonio asks him what he did with Warren, but the demon eats Alina's photo and Antonio throws Igua on him, causing the demon to burn and disappears into the darkness. Only then two orderlies enter the room and bring Antonio back to the asylum. The next day, Alina tells Warren that she saw her mother Amanda in her dream and we see him mixing something in her drink. He says maybe she could rest today as she has been through so much because of her father. He gives her that drink asking drink it before it gets cold. Alina says they say tonight is going to be very special as it's red moon night. Only then she notices that his face is burnt and asks him what happened to his face, and then she faints there and we see maggots crawling out of his wounds. Here Olga, Roberto, and Pedro wake up Antonio and asks him what happened to his daughter. They tell him that they made changes in the play and now Alina is in it, so they need to know how it ended because they don't have an ending. Only then another patient comes there and tells them he can't hear them as he is being drugged. We then see the demon preparing to perform a ritual using the photos of Antonia's family, and he takes Alina's photo out of his mouth. Meanwhile, Doria checks all the items that Orderless picked up from Antonio's room, and she drinks that powerful healing beverage that Carla had given him. The demon then starts the ritual, and here it is revealed that the patient next to Antonia is Cariwea's lookout. Dory then goes to see the play, and during the play, we see that something is wrong with her. Suddenly she transforms into a demon and screams loudly, and seeing her, all get terrified and run away from there. Here Antonia manages to free himself, but the patient chokes him with his powers. Meanwhile, Clara also reaches the asylum but they tell her that visiting hours end at 7pm. But then all those patients come out running and when the guards try to handle them, Clara enters inside. Here Doria enters Antonio's room and attacks that patient to save Antonio, and as he tries to run away, she kills him by uprooting his head. Clara and Antonio then set out to rescue Alina, and Demon gets distracted by maggots coming out of his face. Alina picks up a knife lying beside her and stabs him with it. She then manages to reach the jar that her father had given her and flees from there. 
She comes to the terrace and hides there, but the demon now in his true form comes there looking for her. Alina applies that solution all over her body, and when Demon could not find her, he growls angrily. Meanwhile, Antonio and Clara also reach there, and hearing his growl, they run to the terrace. On reaching there, Antonio sees the jar and understands that Alina was there, but only then the demon takes Clara away into the darkness. Antonio also goes after them and finds Clara lying there unconscious, and when Demon tries to attack Antonio, Antonio attacks him back. Only then he sees the same forest in front of him from where his wife Amanda comes out and extends her hand towards him. But before Antonio can hold her hand, Alina stops him saying it's Curea. Suddenly Antonio stabs the demon in his chest, causing him to fall down, and then he takes his heart out, which transforms into Alina's necklace. Meanwhile, Clara also wakes up and sees Alina wearing that necklace, and finally, she accepts her millenary lineage, and the movie ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for